Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful morning here in San Diego, and we are about to measure up our head sail because we are stoked to be partnering up with a sail company, Precision Sails. So we're going to walk you all through the process. So measuring up sails, not that hard. Not that I know of yet anyway. Working with Precision, they're pretty good. They've got some awesome tutorials and we're gonna be working through. If I miss something, I'm sure they're gonna let me know and vice versa. I'm just gonna send them more than I need to. The more information they've got, the easier it's gonna be for them. Whether it's more photos, more measurements, I'm sure they're not gonna mind having too many. But not enough is another problem. So I've got tape measure I picked up from Harbour Freight, less than 10 bucks, 165 feet, 50 meters. That should do the job for whatever we need sail wise. I've got my calipers here. I've also got a tape measure. I think we're set. Excited we're gonna hop up on the deck right now and measure for our new head sail. All right, well, got a notepad. Also got a camera on the phone. So every little measurement, we're just gonna snap it with the phone over the top of the tape measure and that way, I don't know, we, we should be right. We should be right. He's got all the measuring implements he needs. We've got a billion cameras ready to roll. We're going to attempt to fly our drone, get yeah. some shots from the drone. Like Lee said earlier, the more the merrier, the more information that Precision has, the easier it is for them. And we want to be as helpful as possible and get this new sail on. All right, let's get into as it. As soon as we can, let's go! Okay, guys, so we're going to measure from the deck up to the tack and attachment point. And, um,. Should be quite simple for our first measurement. So I'm going to say that's three foot, so 92 centimetres. The list of measurements required are provided with easy to read instructions by precision. We're going to uh, pull out the head sail. There's only a slight breeze here, so before it picks up any more, we're going to try and get the sail down. I don't know, we've got about five, eight knots at the moment. Should be fine. So we're going to pull the sail out, drop the sail. We'll fold that up, we'll take that away, and we'll measure that on a flat surface later. But for now, let's get the sail down, and then I can get some more measurements. While the drone was in the air, we took some extra photos at the top of the furler. We got the rest of the measurements needed, folded up the sail, ready to take ashore. So we're heading over to shore now because we've got to measure up our sail on a flat surface. We can't measure it up on the boat, so we've got to go ashore, find a grassy spot and lay it out and measure it up. So we can get all the measurements of the sails that we need. We're going to jump in the tender, we're going to take the e-bikes over and I'm gonna, we're going to hopefully balance the sail somehow <laughs> with two of us on the bike and a sail. So let's go! We tried a few different ways to get the sail on the bike. This one didn't work out, but the next one did. Who needs a car?
laid the sail out on the ground. So big. All right, guys, first step is to lay our old one out and get some measurements off that. Uh, I suppose it's like you can double check. I'm going to measure up on the boat, but we're also going to measure the sail. I suppose it's a bit of a way of a double checking. I just downloaded the uh, furling head sail measurement form from Precision, and the first step is, da -da -da, is to take some photos of our old sail and measure up the left foot and the leech of our old sail. So that's what we're about to do now. Alright, so these lovely guys behind us have had to come over and let us know that we weren't allowed to fly the drone where we were flying the drone. They were really lovely and yeah, we are pretty close to the airport. So. Really close, we're not in the red zone of the airport. We're outside of the zone but there's apparently a bigger perimeter like eight miles or something around the airport so yeah. the air traffic controllers picked us up and the police have informed us that it's not a good idea to fly this close. Yeah. So they were cool. They were really and, cool. Um, so yeah. Yeah. We're gonna keep measuring though. And we have 55 foot 7 inches. 55 foot 7 inches. Double check that. Measured the luff. Now I'm gonna run the tape measure along the base of the sail, which is the foot of the sail. Alright, so Bella's gonna take the um, tape across here. We're not gonna measure the curve. All we're doing from is point to point. Bella's right there. And we have 26 foot. All right, Bella's just running out the tape for the leech. We'll get this last measurement in. Nice and straight and taut. We have 50 foot. We're gonna call that 50 foot, guys. That completes the first part of our uh, ordering of our new furling Genoa. We've taken our sail off the boat We've laid it out on the park, gotten in trouble by the police. Well, I won't say that because they were really nice about it. They just said the aviation tower picked it up and said politely if we could take it down. And we said no problems with that. Anyway, back to the sale. We've laid it out. Bella's run the tape out all three ways and we've got uh, measurements there. There's holes in this sale. The sales are pretty sad. You can rub on the stitching and we're not sure what we're going to do with this one yet. We'd like to maybe, maybe re-stitch it up and have it as a spare. We're not sure. What we could do is get all this re-stitched and put back together. And we'll look at our other sale that we've got on board. And if this one's better, we will maybe do that. Maybe not straight away, but... Do you even need a spare with precision sales? Like... Probably not. I think that it's going to probably see us out for 10 years, so... Nah, let's just get rid of it. We, don't... we need more room rather than anything. We'll say one thing. Guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and um, come back next time and we'll show you the beautiful new sail that we've got on board. And we're sailing down the coast of Mexico and just living the dream. <laughs>